Alright everybody, welcome back to the garage, the Super Wrench Bench. It's Matt here with you at the Super Wrench Garage, obviously. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you're returning, as always, glad to have you back. Um, so the other day, actually it's the same day I picked up those Diablo bits. I've been looking at this and looking at this and I thought, meh, it might be useful. Uh, this is a side strike chisel. Um, it's big, it's beefy, it's got a completely out of focus striking cap on the back of it. Um, this is not necessarily a precision instrument, it's more for, um, obviously it looks like rough construction. Side strike chisel, side cutting edge, standard wood chisel, limited lifetime warranty, guaranteed tough, 1 inch or 25 millimeters. Um, it can be used as a scraper, uh, it has a large striking surface, it has a serrated cutting edge for string, uh, made in China. Um, I did use this today, um, and I'll show you what I used it for. So I have a line, not a straight line, but a line. And if I was going to make a cut and I didn't have a knife on me, I just took this chisel, this point, and made a nice score to give my saw blade a place to start. I thought that was pretty good. So it's a side strike chisel, so you theoretically can do that. You can most certainly do that. Let's put it in the vise, and we'll do some chiseling. So, it says you can scrape with it, so let's, uh, or actually let's, okay, scrapes. Am I going to carve the great American sculpture with this chisel? No. But it's fairly sharp. So I guess you could clean up a saw joint with it. Um, again, you can use it to strike a line. Now I've got two lines so I can and I'm sure there's a lot of chisel aficionados out there going, oh my god, what is he doing? Well, I'm still a novice. I claim my uh, noviceness. Everyone starts as a novice somewhere. Anyway, it cuts. It's a beast. I think having it in the toolbox is going to be a nice addition. Uh, it's got a reasonably grippy handle. It's got some heft, weight. I like it. Am I going to carry it around everywhere? Probably not. But if I'm doing some rough uh, framing, building something, it's gonna, definitely going to be in my tool pouch. So, uh, I don't know, I give this an 8 out of 10. Maybe a 9 out of 10. I like it. Let's put it that way. It was worth the 8 or 9 bucks. So, that's another quick uh, tool review for you. Okay, so I think that's going to wrap it up. Uh, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Use your head for more than a hat rack.